الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من بعد ما شاء الله تبارك الله الله سبحانه وتعالى creation vast and beautiful and wondrous and الحمد لله today in our last hike for a while we've made it to one peak out of the many peaks and that is from the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's from his mercy that's from what? from Allah? that's from his what? his mercy alhamdulillah his rahmah and I wanted to talk about one simple hadith which illustrates one of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine characteristics because Allah has many names many different names and attributes that he possesses subhanahu that are unique to him and befitting of his perfection subhanahu wa ta'ala so Rauf Rauf have you heard the name Rauf and Abdul Rauf Rauf as Ibn Jarir he was one of the people who explained the Quran who was Ibn Jarir? Ascent so he was one of the early scholars who explained uh, Ibn Jarir al-Tabari Rahimahullah Ta'ala one of the early classical Mufassirin and he said Rahimahullah Ta'ala he says A'la ma'ani ar-Rahmah wa hiya aamati li jamiya al-khalq fi dunya wa li ba'dihim fi al-akhirah so he was explaining about Rauf what it means he says that it is it means the most the the highest level of mercy the highest level of of, of mercy and rahmah just like your name is Abdul Rahman you are the servant of the most merciful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most merciful and rahmah is one of the characteristics that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses he's the most He's a Rahman. He's the most merciful, and he is a Rauf. Rauf means more mercy, as Ibn uh, Jarir explained. He said that it's the highest, le the, it's the highest meaning of mercy, like the highest level of mercy, and it is for the general creation in the dunya, meaning that Allah gives His mercy for everyone, people who believe and people who disbelieve. He gives His mercy to the animals. He gives his mercy to all of his creation. Even these trees, they receive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's provisions and rahmah. They receive his mercy. But in the akhirah, and as Ibn Jarir, he said, and for some of them, it's in the hereafter. Meaning that in the hereafter, the mercy is for who? Who's going to get the mercy in the hereafter? No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives mercy. Who's going to, who's going to receive the mercy? Okay, yeah, us, inshallah ta'ala. We say inshallah. So the, the believers, if we die on belief, the people who are the, the who Allah loves, and the the, the, the awliya, the, those who are like friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they love Him more than they love themselves. And the pious people, those are the ones who receive the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hereafter. So, it's for that Ra'uf is, is mercy beyond Rahmah. It is more than Rahmah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُضَيْعَ إِيمَانَكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِالنَّاسِ لَرَعُوفُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And Allah will not, uh, Allah will not throw away or discount your Iman. And verily Allah to mankind is the most beneficent and the most Rauf, you know, the most merciful, the most, the one who is the most compassionate and having the most mercy, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that shows us that those are some divine characteristics of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he has mercy for his creation. Eat like you have sense. Take that out of your mouth. 
and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful and also that Allah is not going to waste your iman. If you believe in Allah, Allah is going to help you and Allah is going to guide you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.